And of course, the pandemic has impacted so many American families. There are reports showing millions of women left the workforce during the pandemic in large part because they just couldn't find affordable health care. And it's an issue the lawmakers are working to address both at the state and national level. Our Lindsay Nadrix looked into what's being proposed and spoke to a single mom who says families need more help. Yeah, the mom I spoke to today told me finding affordable child care was already difficult before the pandemic, but that it's even harder now because many child care facilities have closed. Marcelle Hirschfeld is a single mom of two boys ages five and nine. She works full time and was trying to get her bachelor's degree until the pandemic changed that. She told me she had to stop going to school herself so she could focus on helping her two boys with remote learning while continuing to work. The stress of it all took a toll, but Marshall says daycare was just too expensive. Oh my gosh, um, I remember <laughs> applying for the YMCA uh, program and um, it came out to $1,000 per child and there's like a 5% discount for your second child and you know, you, I really just had to choose not to send them to daycare because that or choosing rent is not an option. Marshall knows she's not alone in the struggle to find child care. That's why she's now advocating for state legislation that would expand child care options and spoke at a press conference today in support of the Child Care is Infrastructure Act. That federal legislation would provide funding to increase the number of child care providers both in Oregon and across the country. I'll have more on that coming up at five. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Coin Six News. Lindsay